India is a repository of biodiversity. This diversity of plant life, comprising over 3 lakh species, has a critical role in the sustenance of all life forms. But today, this plant diversity faces several threats. Indiscriminate exploitation is a threat known to all. But there are other threats which are as detrimental as overexploitation. One such threat is from alien plant species which have stealthily entered India and colonized large tracts of land within a short span of time. These are biological invaders, more commonly known to us as weeds. are plant species that are of no immediate value to human life. Native weeds, however, are not considered a threat to other species because nature has developed ways of controlling them. But several alien plant species which have invaded India from distant lands from the early 60s have come to pose a serious challenge to native plant wealth and human life as well. Some of the dreaded invaders are the Parthenium hystrophorus, Lantana camara, the Chromalina odorata or Eupatorium, Mimosa invisa, and the Mycenia micranta. Of these plants, the Parthenium hystrophorus, commonly known as carrot weed or white top, is considered the earliest and the most dangerous weed to enter India. It was first noticed near Pune in 1956. Parthenium hystrophorus is a herbaceous erect annual plant belonging to the family Asteraceae. It is a native of the Latin American region. From there, it is known to have spread into several areas of North America, Africa, Asia and Australia. It is surmised that Parthenium possibly entered India from the U.S. through imported food grains or through the import of seed lots. The most affected states in India are Uttar Pradesh and Bihar in the north, Maharashtra and Gujarat in the west, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka in the south, West Bengal and Orissa in the east and Madhya Pradesh in central India. It is estimated that Parthenium has come to colonize a total of 5 million hectares in India. Of late, this fast-growing, fast-reproducing exotic weed has conquered large areas in Kerala. Its growth on the Attapadi hill ranges adjacent to the Tamil Nadu border is rampant. Large tracts of grassland and acres and acres of both cultivable and fallow land have come under the grip of Parthenium, posing several problems to the people of Attapadi, who by and large are small and marginal farmers. The challenge here is to eradicate Parthenium. Spearheading the challenge is Ahans, that is, the Attapadi Hills Area Development Society, which is dedicated to the cause of conservation and regeneration of the environment in the depleted hill ranges of Attapadi. 
what makes Parthenium such a dangerous weed? It is a shrubby plant that grows to a height of 2 meters with an erect stem and a deep tap root. The leaves are deeply lobed and hairy. Parthenium starts flowering about a month after germination and keeps reproducing at least three generations a year under favorable conditions. It gets the common name white top from its innumerable white creamy flowers. Each plant produces about 5,000 to 10,000 tiny and extremely light seeds which get dispersed easily. The seeds can remain viable for germination up to a period of 12 years. The plants flourish well in alkaline clayey loam soil which is characteristic of the Attapadi hills. The pollen grains inhibit fruit set in vegetable crops. In addition, Parthenium pollens are an allergen for both man and animals. Incidences of dermatitis, asthma, bronchitis and other allergies are known to be common in areas colonized by this potent weed. Livestock fed on Parthenium contract bitter milk disease, a cause for panic among the cattle rearing community of Attapadi. The cut stumps do not wither away but sprout again within 30 days. Such a vegetative growing power makes Parthenium an aggressive weed, not easy to eradicate. The three control methods used the world over to control the growth of Parthenium are the mechanical method, chemical management using herbicides and biological control measures using certain insects, fungal pathogens and competitive plants. The mechanical method of plucking and destroying plants is found to be effective in small areas. Ahads has come up with a new control strategy which, besides eradicating the weed, provides a useful product through the involvement of the people. In this endeavor, the first task is to make the people aware of the ill effects of Parthenium and mobilize support for the income generating process of Parthenium eradication. So this movement actually started with our awareness campaign followed by a training program for about uh, 800 people and uh, covering about 28 training programs. These people on getting training, they have started this eradication movement for about uh, 16 kilometer length on the roadside they have eradicated about uh, 150 hectare in the wasteland and also uh, about 25 hectare in the community land and about uh, 12 hectare in uh, tribal hamlets. Now they have about uh, 9 units and each uh, unit is producing about a ton of this Parthenium compost. The Attapadi Hills are home to the Irula, Mudaga and Kurumba tribes. Any movement has to begin from organizing the people. Rightly then, the Parthenium eradication movement began by forming units of 10 people each who would destroy the weed in their vicinity. Quite appropriately, the units embarked on the eradication program on June 5th, 2004, which is observed as World Environment Day. The uprooting was done before the plants attained the maturity stage of seed setting. The uprooted plants go into the making of compost in three different ways. 
वन सिंपल एरोबिक कॉम्पोस्ट टू सेमी एरोबिक कॉम्पोस्ट एंड थ्री वर्मी कंपोस्टिंग फॉर मेकिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ कंपोस्ट द कलेक्टेड प्लांट्स आर चॉप टू पीसेस ऑफ वन टू टू सेंटीमीटर्स इन साइज In the simple aerobic compost procedure, the chopped pieces are spread in layers of 20 to 30 cm thickness. Cow dung slurry is sprinkled on each layer. In this manner, the chopped pieces and cow dung slurry are layered to a height of up to 1 meter. After spraying water to maintain the desired moisture, the layers are kept covered with polythene sheets for 60 days to obtain compost. Ahad has now introduced mechanized shaft cutting machines to reduce the drudgery of shredding the plants manually. In the second method of semi-aerobic compost, parthenium pieces are covered with the inoculum of a fungus, Pleurotus sajor kaju. Upon this, a layer of urea is spread to aid decomposition. The biomass temperature is monitored to maintain a moisture level of 60%. The biomass is turned once a month to make decomposing even. In the third method of vermi composting a worm belonging to the Eudrilla species is introduced into the shredded parthenium mixed with cow dung slurry In about 70 days the vermi compost will be ready The compost produced meets the required standards Tests conducted at Ahads have shown that the carbon nitrogen and the nitrogen phosphorus potassium are in the desired ratio. Under the Ahads Parthenium Eradication Project, over 145 hectares of fallow and cultivable land and over 16 kilometers of roadsides have been cleared of the weed. The compost produced at the behest of Ahads is used for its afforestation project. Weed management and afforestation are not independent of one another. They are aimed towards restoring degraded forest wealth and the conversion of fallow land into food producing tracts. This initiative of Ahads is a fine example of eco restoration with people's participation which is bound to decimate the supremacy of parthenium the mauraiding weed